My neighborhood in Lincoln, Nebraska, is where the photo arc started, right here at the Lincoln Children's Zoo. Oh. John Chapel. How are you, bud? The first thing I shot here was the least likely animal you can imagine, the naked mole rat. They're about blind, aren't they? Oh, they are blind because they are subterranean. Look at that. They never quit moving around. No, scientists are actually studying the naked mole rat as to why they are immune to cancer. The secret for curing humans from cancer could be hidden in these strange little naked rats with huge buck teeth. Uh, you, know, you never know. Hence the importance of preserving wildlife. Yeah. It may be there, the cure for cancer. I had no idea. Learning about the naked mole rat's resistance to cancer really hits home for me. Because cancer is why the photo art got started in the first place. When I first started working for the Geographic, I did a lot of, um, I, well, I did whatever stories they assigned me to. It could be a story on Connecticut or federal land use in the American West or, or just anything. And then Kathy got really sick. It's been 10 years ago now, uh, just before Thanksgiving, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And um, at the time we had, you know, three little kids and we didn't know how it would go. And she was on chemo and radiation for the better part of a year, and so I was grounded. I was home for the first time in many, many years. He was home that whole time, so he really did step up and, and take care of the kids, become, you know, Mr. Mom. I don't think I'd changed a diaper even on the littlest one. He was two. So I was pretty terrified. I was afraid that she was going to die. I was afraid that... Uh, I wouldn't be able to raise children. I was really afraid I wouldn't be able to pay our mortgage or pay our bills because I'd made all my living doing day rates, shooting by the day for National Geographic Magazine, and that all came to a screeching halt. One of the things that happened is I had a lot of time to think during the day when Kathy was asleep. I'd have a lot of time to think about what to do with the rest of my life. I was 43. And so he was at a loss for what to do. He, he started taking stock pictures of vegetables and <laughs> plants or flowers, whatever. So I guess he ran out of things to take pictures of around the house. So he went to just down the street at our local zoo. On the days when Kathy felt better, I went to the Lincoln Children's Zoo and started doing pictures. Started with a naked mole rat, did a couple of poison dart frogs, and I did their turtles and their snakes. And pretty soon, before you know it, I photographed every animal at the zoo. And then I went on to the Omaha Zoo, which has one of the biggest collections in the world. Eventually got everything they had. And I went to Kansas City and Sioux Falls and Oklahoma City and Houston and Des Moines and Denver and Minneapolis. Just every place I could drive to in my Prius and got everything they had. Since I was feeling pretty good and uh, he was back on track, he thought, I'm gonna pursue this. And it ended up being the photo arc. <laughs> 